Okay, in this video we're going to look at the sandbar and the gauge block stack and see how they can be used together to measure angles or to uh, set up angles for machining. We're going to use the height gauge, but the height gauge is mainly used in this as something just to hold our indicator. You can see that the height gauge does nothing. We're not going to read it. We're just going to use it to hold the indicator in place so that we can check the angle of our part. And we're going to use an adapter such as this, slide it right in, and that's merely to hold our test indicator. This is a test indicator. So we use our angle plate and we do our math calculations. We calculate that we need, we have a 5 inch sandbar times 15 degree angle, hit the sand key equals 1.2941. We'll round it to 1. So the size that we need, the size of the gauge block stack is 1.2941. So we calculate that and we ring them together and we put it here. Now we're going to put our shine bar against that, against the angle plate. We're going to take our 15 degree parallel, put it on here like this, like so. Now we're going to do is measure to see if we're zero at this end and zero at the other. If we are, then we're correct. So we're going to use our test indicator and our veneer height gauge merely as a way to check that it's zero at one end and zero at the other. And we do have zero, zero. There is no movement at all. So our gauge block stack is correct. 1.2941 is the correct gauge block stack for a 5 inch sandbar checking a 15 degree angle. Okay, now we do want this tip to be about a 20 degree angle of our part. Say if this is our work, about 20 degrees is what we want. We don't want our indicator tip way down here. We don't want it way up here. We want it about 20 degrees, about a 20 degree angle from our work. That's kind of standard, so that's what we're going to go by. So when you check this on your own, you'll use the surface plate, height gauge, test indicator, uh, the test indicator holder. Uh, the, fifth, uh, the various angle parallels, the 5 inch sandbar, gauge blocks, and an angle plate. Okay, and again, you can see how this is set up. It's a very good setup because, I'll, like I say, all it's doing is allowing us to use the veneer height gauge to hold our test indicator. And again, with all of our lab exercises, if you have any questions, just hunt me down and I'll give you a hand best I can. Thank you.